it's so funny, right? Like one of the um, my favorite manga back in teenage was story about the motorcycle gang. And I used to just draw those like motorcycle gang with like wearing the leather jacket and like you know, driving the like Harry Davidson, whatever. That's what I was like tracing. And always like skull was on the like a back of the leather jacket as like of the uniform. And that's how I started drawing skull. This recording is volume three in the series of unintended indiscretions before microphone and camera. I'm Kentaro Yoshida. I'm originally from Japan and currently based in mainly just northern beach of Sydney. My main style is pretty much like line artwork, like a bit comic-y style because of like Japanese mangas and then, you know, they're like a Japanese visual culture. Since then, I've been drawing skeletons, but these days I realize like my skeleton is a little bit more fun and playful than any other skeleton. So it's almost like not really dead. He's almost like, you know, kind of living dead. <laughs> And check their outfit, right? Wearing the like, you know, green shirts and then, like blue bikini. And these guys, after the tennis, um, they had a <laughs> quickie. <laughs> so like, you know, these illustrations connected. You know, even though you know people doesn't need to know, you know, it's just, it's just like you know they're connecting. So <laughs> yeah, and then he's got his own characters and personality, which I've been developing, and I'm almost like using skeleton as a just a metaphor of myself or you know kind of the characters. Uh, I think I met the surf culture pretty much when I moved here. I used to snowboard and used to skate skateboard a little bit, you know, when I was a teenager, but pretty much like surf culture, I met when I came here, and then it's part of my um, art now, but just through the experience, and you know, kind of growing and growing. So that was like collaboration mural I did with the lady called Georgia Hill and Tom Schwager. That was my first mural. I got a knife here too. I don't know, it's a metaphor of you know, can tool to survive. It could be like drawing or it could be rash, but I just showed knife that time. I was more aggressive than before, maybe. When I was a kid, I used to draw a lot like on the textbook and then I knew that I could draw some, some stuff. Then when I first moved here, I didn't really draw anything and then went to uni here. Just, you know, during the uni, while my friend friend from Japan, he's a really good surfer. He actually asked me to paint on his surfboard. And that's the first time I started painting on a surfboard. And then I think that's around that time, I almost like started like in the surfing, like in how, I, how much I like surfing to how I like drawing and stuff kind of, you know, meet. Yeah, like I said, this skeleton like you know, having beers and maybe having like a lonely night <laughs> or something. But I think drinking just like myself and you know, like you know, kind of I really like spending time myself at night too. So and then I like wearing aloha shirts during the summer. So <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of like myself, a bit of portrait, bit of portrait, self portrait. I'm gonna paint. I decided to live here when I was 18 because I just wanted to surf. And then after 10 years or 13 years, I still stick around here. So and now I'm making art and then living my life. So I think I just want to keep on going and see how I go.